Welcome to the 2013 First Robotics Competition and this year's game, Ultimate Ascent. Ultimate Ascent is played on a 27 by 54 foot field. Alliances of three teams each operate their robots from behind alliance walls at the ends of the field. Four scoring goals are located in each alliance wall, located at three different heights. Each alliance wall also has feeder stations located at the ends of the wall. Two large pyramids occupy the middle of the field, about a third of the way from the alliance walls. Each pyramid has three rungs leading up to the top, which can be climbed by the robots. At the summit of the pyramid is an additional scoring goal. Ultimate Ascent is played with standard flying discs of three different colors. The objective is to score as many discs as possible in the goals at the far end of the field. The harder the goal is to hit, the more points it's worth. Robots can track the reflective vision targets around each goal, allowing them to target goals from anywhere on the field. The match begins with each robot in contact with the pyramid at the far end of the field. Robots can be preloaded with up to three discs each. A 15 second autonomous period starts the match. During the autonomous period, robots can score discs using pre-programmed instructions. Every end goal scored during the autonomous period scores double points as a bonus. At the end of this period, human drivers step forward to take the controls. As the teleoperated period starts, teams command their robots to score as quickly as possible. Discs can be scored by throwing or placing them into the goals. Robots can hold up to four discs at one time. After gathering discs, they can try to score from anywhere on the field. Human players enter discs onto the field by passing them through slots in the feeder stations. Robots in the loading zone are protected from interference by their opponents while they receive discs. But robots not touching this safe zone have to deal with defending opponent robots. Near the end of the match, human players can throw discs onto the field and try to score. At the same time, robots drive to their pyramids and start to climb for bonus points. The higher they climb, the more points they will receive. Robots can climb up the sides or the corners of the pyramid, but they have to remain there as the game ends to collect their bonuses. Good luck, and we'll see you at the competitions.